What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equal Espresso and today we're going to be doing an in-depth on the chainsaw in Call of Duty Ghosts. This is going to be the first of many Ghosts weapon in-depths coming on my channel as well as they're going to be going up on Carnage Clan. So if you're on my channel, check them out. If you're on Carnage Clan, be sure to check me out. But without further ado, let's jump right into the actual in-depth. I had my hesitations and doubts about this because I'm not much of an LMG user when it comes to Ghosts or any Call of Duty for that matter. But this one has great mobility, Stalker is not needed, and a lot of its characters Characteristics are very great and redeeming in themselves. It's honestly doing testing on this and going to get gameplay for this gun It's become one of my favorite guns in ghosts So let's start out with some basic knowledge of the gun the damage is 34 to 24 Depending on the range so that is going to mean a three to five shot kill with this gun an LMG That's actually really good, but at long range it can feel really weak like an SMG five shots is usually what it takes an SMG up close to do since it is range based 34 damage is usually ending around 10 meters and close so anytime you're past 10 meters on an enemy, it's going to drop down gradually all the way down to 24 damage for 47 meters and farther. Now, 47 meters is a very long way. It's usually about half of the distance of the map. Some of the bigger maps, it's probably about a fourth. Some of the smaller maps, it's probably about three-fourths. So it really is all depending on where you're playing and what angles you're taking. But it may seem like you're not hitting as many shots or it's taking more shots to kill. That's because you're hip-firing with the chainsaw. There is no ADS with it. So you're going to be able to fire off a lot of rounds, probably not as accurately, especially at range. But at a mid to close range, you're going to be able to have a great advantage because of the integrated laser sight into the gun you're going to be able to hip fire very accurately and in most cases get the kills off whenever you have the jump on a player now clocking in at a terms of fire rate with 857 rpm it is not listed as the fastest lmg in the game but it is in fact the fastest with rapid fire it brings that fire rate all the way up to 1008 rpm which will shred through enemies as well as your ammo so there are a couple things that you can actually do to improve your weapon playstyle with this gun use extended mags that's going to help you a lot whenever you use extended mags you're going to go from having 80 shots to 120 shots per belt as well a perk like fully loaded will allow you to have your full ammo capacity when you start your life and that will help you tremendously because you're going to be able to spray a lot and whenever you get down to those zero shots left in your belt then that's when you really are in trouble now on the terms of spraying with this weapon it's not really a bad thing there's a lot of stuff that this gun can help you with in terms of spraying the LMGs already have a large penetration damage whenever you're shooting through walls and other surfaces as well headshot multipliers add 1.4 times the damage that it would do to the rest of the body now with that being said when you're spraying it'll usually take a couple shots to kill but if you're getting a headshot here and there that's going to increase the damage tremendously another beautiful thing about this weapon is that while you are spraying there is no recoil why is that it's because it's a hip fire only weapon you don't actually completely aid down sights and whenever you do push in a little bit so that you get a more accurate shot and a partial ads there still is no recoil now the partial ads speed is 0.35 seconds it's one of the slowest all the lmgs have the same exact time but the only thing slower i believe are the sniper rifles and that's just just by a little bit so the partial ADS speed is pretty slow but then again you're not really gonna need it because it decreases the chance of missing your shots by a little bit but it's still mostly hip fire so it helps and it doesn't so that's really on you what you want to do with it now here's the kicker if you don't want to ADS a little bit well that's not anything that's going to penalize you because the chainsaw has the best hip fire of any gun even the SMGs it beats out it has the best hip fire spread of any weapon in the game so however you want to spray down your enemies you can do it whether it's partial ADS or hip fire, you're going to have a good chance of getting the shots off and getting them connected while in gunfights. Now, the reload speed is something that you really want to be careful of because the reload speeds are tremendously high and it's something that leaves you vulnerable for a long time. Now, an empty reload is 8.03 seconds, a full reload is 8.83 seconds, and a cancel is 5.93 seconds. So, like I said, that is a lot of time that you're exposed to enemies and you can be spotted and shot at. So, you want to make sure that you're in a safe area whenever you're reloading or you have a teammate that's covering your back while you're doing this because that is five to eight seconds where you cannot shoot, where you're completely vulnerable and you have no way of defending yourself. Now, before we close out with my recommendation, some things to run with this that I would highly recommend is steady aim. That's probably a definite just so you can keep that hip fire accuracy and effectiveness fully loaded. That's depending on what you play like. It can be interchanged with scavenger, but just in case, because you don't want to be stuck in situations where you have zero bullets left, where you have absolutely no ammo. So you want to make sure that you have the ammo to conserve and to be able to pick off enemies for the remainder of your life. Lightweight, I would suggest just so you can move around quicker. Stalker is a personal preference of mine. It can be changed out for anything you want, but it really doesn't decrease the the mobility of your gun and character with this so that's up to you if you want to use it ready up I would suggest using because you want to be able to get your gun up fast after a sprint sleight of hand if you want to decrease
increase your reload time. Muzzle Break, which will give you a higher damage. Rapid Fire, it'll increase your fire rate, but it'll empty your clip more. Make sure that you run Scavenger or Fully Loaded if you do run one of these two. Extended Mags will give you 120 bullets per belt rather than the 80, so that's always a plus. So now my recommendation, I would definitely use this. I would suggest it to anybody that wants to have a little bit of fun in this game. As wacky as a gun as it seems, it really isn't that bad. It is pretty effective when it comes to gunfights. Mobility is surprisingly high, and it's very enjoyable in my opinion. You can spray somebody and pick them off, and even get a good gameplay at the end of the day. So, in my opinion, it was very fun to use. I got used to it very quickly. It's one of those guns that you can just pick up and go, and the stats that this gun has, it's very deadly that you can do that. You can pick it up and just annihilate people. So, that's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm going to be bringing you guys more weapon breakdowns here shortly in the near future, so stay tuned for those. Any suggestions that you have for guns, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below and I will get to them. I'll most likely be doing all the guns in the game so even if I don't take your suggestion right away it'll be there in the near future. If you did like the video please leave a like rating down below. Any shares your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're OG like that are always greatly appreciated. If you're new here be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Ghost content. I have a ton of stuff still coming to you guys. I got some more series that I'm working on. This is the first of many gun breakdowns so be sure to stay tuned for that if you did like that. My name is Benuqual Espresso. As always I hope you guys are having a great day. I shall see you guys later. Take care and peace.